I got disconnected for a moment. Let me just uh, sum up what I was just going over. On the next one, when I wanted only 5,000 grains of rice, I started with 5,000 grains over one. Of course, I need grains on the bottom so it will cross off. What do I really want on top? If I read the question, I'm going to need, I'm going to be weighing it out with a scale. Scales measuring grams, so grams went on top. So I went and got the number of how many grams is how many grains. I got those numbers up here. 26 grains, so I put the 26 next to grains, is equal to 0.49 grams. It's just this ratio flipped. How did I know to flip it? Because I let the units lead. Grains needed to cross off, and then the numbers followed. I need grams. When I put that into the calculator, it's 94 grams of rice equals 5,000 grains. These next two then are related to the activity we did the other day. I'm going to have Mrs. Dobbin in just a few moments press the pause button uh, while you um, work through those. And remember, number unit label every step every time. Let those units lead. The numbers should follow. Let me remind you, when they ask how many nails are in seven pounds of nails, let me remind you of what we had the other day. That nails, 10 nails weigh 5.41 grams. So let me put that back up there. You'll want to write this. 10 nails equal 5.41 grams. Your mission is to figure out how many are in seven pounds of nails. Seven, I'm going to abbreviate, pounds over one is how I'll start. Let the units lead and the numbers will follow. The next one's going to ask about hex nuts. Let me remind you, when we did our activity, 10 hex nuts weighed 69.8 grams. So I will write 10 nuts equals 69.8 grams. You are going to want to know how many 900 nuts weigh. 900 nuts. Once again, start with it over one. Once again, let the units lead. Here are some facts that you'll probably need. Mrs. Dobbin, press pause for about five minutes so they have a chance to work through those and then resume and then we'll go through the solutions together. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if you got this. How many nails? Are there in seven pounds of nails? A lot of numbers. I don't know what to do with them. But that's okay. I know that if I have pounds here, I'm going to put pounds on the bottom. Find some sort of information that you know about pounds. Um, here's one that one pound or 2.2 pounds is equal to one kilogram. That's the best I can do. I know I need pounds on the bottom. I'm going to put kilograms on the top. Let the units lead. The numbers will follow. Now the numbers are coming. 2.2 pounds is on the bottom, one kilogram is on top. That would be kilogram and I need nails so I'm not there yet. Make another fraction. Do I want kilograms? Nope. Put it on the bottom. What do I want? I want numbers of nails. Hmm. I don't have numbers of nails. I do have one kilogram equals a thousand grams. Let's try one kilogram, one thousand grams. That would let me cross off kilograms and that would get to grams. Still don't have any correct answer. This would leave me with grams and I need to know how many nails. Finally a fact that's going to get me there. First things first, the unit says grams here. I don't want grams. I'll put that at the bottom. What I really want is nails and I do know a relationship between nails. And now I go get these numbers. 10 goes next to nails, 5.41 goes next to grams. I set that up in such a way that everything systematically crosses off. Whatever's up here goes down here. Whatever's up here goes down here. Until I, and I do it with facts, I found some facts, until I get the right, um, until everything crosses off except for what they ask me. Now what do I do? 7 times 1,000 times 10, because those were all on top. Now I have two numbers on the bottom, and I have to divide by both of them. This is a decimal point. 
divide by 2.2 and also divide by 5.41 and I will get 5,881 nails. The next one, similar idea. The idea is uh, you need 900 hex nuts. Whatever they start, whatever number they start with, I start with that number, 900 nuts. I put it over one. But your scale only weighs American and has ounces. How many ounces? So I need to figure this out. I need to keep crossing things out until all I have left is ounces. Right now I got nuts on top. Nuts has to go on the bottom. What do we know about how many nuts? The only fact on this page about nuts is that 10 nuts is equal to 69.8 grams. That will let me cross off nuts and nuts. But that would leave me grams on top. I don't want grams on top, so put it on the bottom. What do I want on top? I want ounces if I can find a relationship between grams and ounces. There it is. 1 ounce equals 28. So I want ounces, so I'm going to put ounces. OZ, strangely enough, is, I guess it's not as strange as LB for pound. Grams versus ounces. 1 goes next to ounce. 28.35 goes next to gram. Grams and grams crosses off. The only unit that doesn't is ounces. 900 times 69.8 divided by 10 but also divided by 28.35 221.6 I'm just going to round 6 ounces wait a minute there's another question how many pounds is this 221.6 ounces 221.6 ounces. I'll put it over 1. I'll get ready to multiply by a fraction. I'll put ounces on the bottom because I don't need it anymore. I need it to cross off. What I really want is pounds. Do I know any relationship between ounces and pounds? Not sure if you know this, but if you did, 1 pound is 16 ounces. One of those facts that maybe you already knew. 221.6 divided by 16, 13.9 pounds. I rounded a little bit. You're going to get some more dimensional analysis practice. I tell you this, let the units lead, the numbers will follow.